everybody. Who's this? I don't know. I've been gone for so long. You might not recognize me anymore. <laughs> so, um, quick update. I know I've been gone from booktube for a while. Um, it was just getting a little bit too much doing two videos uh, in French and English. And then in the summer we got a dog and that took a lot of time. Uh, after the pandemic, everything started coming up, um, going back to normal again. So like kids back in after school stuff, like schoolwork, work, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, you miss one week and you're like, I'll do it next week. And you miss another week and so on and so forth. And it's just snowballs. And here we are almost like a year and a half later. <laughs> oh, that's probably, you can hear my dog. Um, that's another reason why I couldn't do booktube anymore because she was always with me. And, uh, you know, when you hear a dog barking, you don't really want to be uh, paying attention. Anyways, so I thought today I would do a bracket elimination round to figure out what my 2023 book of the year was. I saw this on um, books with Emily Fox. She did it last year and she did one for this year. But uh, that was just kind of like a quick update as to where I've been uh and why i haven't been uploading so let's start with the bracket system i would like to begin by acknowledging the nuchalit people traditional custodian of the land on which we are filming today and pay respects to their elders past and present okay i'm gonna put these ones in my black london case put these ones in my gray london case let's close them up and give them a shake Hello again. Um, you might notice different hair, different lighting. I'm just refilming this portion because it was like a two hour long video. So I'm sure you probably didn't want to spend, you know, two hours of your day watching me do the first round of my bracket. So um, it's still the same books, uh, but it's just going to go a lot faster. I'm just going to say the title of the book, maybe you know, a little bit of feeling or whatever I had about the book and then moving on making my decision. That way it can go a lot faster because we have 86 books that we have to go through. So let's go. First one, it's tender is the flesh versus crave. Tender is the flesh. Very creepy book, I recommend. Just be warned, it's weird. <laughs> This next pairing was really hard. I loved both books, so it's Remarkably Bright Creatures. Wrong place, wrong time. Um, this took me a while to decide, but it has to be Remarkably uh, Bright Creatures, but I would read, I'd recommend that book. Animal Farm versus Jade City. Um, classic and epic fantasy. Uh, I think lots of people love this one. I would have to reread it because I don't really remember much about it. And then Animal Farm. So I'm going with Animal Farm. In my dream, I hold a knife, a broken blade. The only reason why I'm making my decision is I don't remember the plot of another one. And I remember not really liking it, even though the other one I did like either. But uh, it's going to be in my dreams I hold a knife. Blueberry Muffin Murder, Chicken Sisters, two books about food. Both books have recipes in them. This one's a series. This one's a standalone. Um, I want to pick up the, the physical books because that way I can recreate some of the recipes in either book. But I prefer this one more. Okay. Uh, sea of Tranquility, Never Night. Emily St. James Mandela is one of my favorite authors. Sea of Tranquility, it will be. Uh, but in Never Night, uh, there's tons of footnotes, so I recommend reading it uh, via audiobook because then it doesn't make it all choppy. Both pretty cool, but Sea of Tranquility. 
Small Spaces versus Chocolate Chip Murders. This is the um, same series as the blue, Blueberry Muffin Murder. Recipe is in here as well. And then Small Spaces. Um, this one was really creepy and it's a children or middle grade book, but uh, definitely Small Spaces. Uh, Kaiju Preservation Society versus The Alchemist. Kaiju Preservation Society, only because this one, I don't really remember the plot of it, and I remember it being very boring. Uh, this one was very entertaining. Fourth Wing versus I'm Glad My Mom Died, like memoir, versus, you know, the book of 2023. Um, I was more entertained, even though this one was pretty, was like good. Um, but again, it's like two different genres, but I kind of had more. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Razorblade Tears uh, versus False Witness. Um, both of them have lots of gruesome action in it. This one's Revenge. This one is, um, if you know Karen Slater or Slaughter, just check the books and check your triggers because these ones are really, she writes pretty brutal books. Um, but this one read more like an action movie. This one made me very uncomfortable. Uh, so Race of Blade Tears. Empire of the Wild versus Girl Forgotten. Um, the only reason why I'm going to be going with Emperor of the Wild is because I kind of forgot what this one was. Um, thriller books tend to kind of just meld in together after a while. So I really don't remember what happened in this one. And so it's Emperor of the Wild. Only a Monster, Big Summer, Only a Monster, Kisses and Croissants, Outlawed, um, uh, Kisses and Croissants. The Secrets We Kept, Eight Perfect Murders, The Secrets We Kept. This was a good history lesson, um, and it's a book about a book and secret spies during the Cold War. I said I wasn't going to do some Nazis. I know. Okay. Don't come after me. <laughs> a Prayer for the Crown Chai versus Happy Place. Um, prayer for the Crown Chai. This was not my favorite um, Emily Henry book. Gilded versus Dating Dr. Dill. I'm going with Gilded. I couldn't stand the characters in this book. I know it's some people's favorites, but I did not like it. One Italian Summer versus uh, Whiskey in a Teacup. Um, both of them I really enjoyed. Uh, this one was like kind of a slice of life. Uh, but this one definitely made me like teary-eyed and stuff. And I really loved it. And I want to go visit Italy now. So a Daily Education versus So Much to Love or So Much for Love graphic novel. YA, Dark Academia. Um, I'm going to go with Deathly Education, but this one is definitely worth uh, a read. Um, yeah. We Sold Our Souls versus Golden Sun. Not the best one in the Red Rising series. This one uh, from Grady Hendri Hendrix. Um, if you love his work, this one is creepy as hell. House of Salt and Sorrow, uh, Little Secrets. Um, again, this is like a, a thriller. And the only, you know, this one was okay, but I really don't remember what happened in this one. So House of, House of Salt and Sorrow. House of Hollow. I know it's not the book cover, but um, Velvet Was the Night. I cannot stand this book. <laughs> um, House of Hollow. A Psalm for the Wild Built versus Crush. Um, Psalm for the Wild Built. This is so, so cute. So short. If you want to get uh, ahead on your good, good, good reads goal, um, pick up uh, this book and its companion or its um, sequel. Um, and this is just like brain candy, really. Vampires, werewolves, 
the whole thing, but this one is so cute. I loved it. Manhunt, things we do in the dark. Uh, Manhunt, just for the disturbing factor. The other people, reckless girls. The other people. I remember really liking the plot of this one and like twist and turn and this one was just annoying. Creatures great and small. Uh, Hell followed with us. Um, both of them were really good and I like them for different reasons. But um, it's going to be all creatures great and small. Divine Rivals and Binti. Um, again, if you want a short book for your Goodreads challenge, you know, bring up that book count. Worth the read. And it's also like a, a trilogy. Um, and Divine Rivals. So it's going to be Divine Rivals. Uh, Beyond the Wall versus, or Beyond the Wand. The story of Tom Felton, a.k.a. Malfoy. Um, Hot to Trot. <laughs> I really don't remember the plot of this book. So... And I quite enjoyed my time with uh, Malfoy. And the Great Alone versus the Happy Ever Playlist. Both of them made me cry for, you know, different reasons. Um, you know, good little rom-com, life tragic saga kind of thing. Um, but this one, I think, had a bigger impact. So the Great Alone. Fina, a 620 man. Uh, Fina, another little short little book. Really cool concept. I enjoyed my time. This one was just watching like a, an action movie. Meh. Live on the Brain and A Rogue by Any Other Name. Um, I think it's uh, Love on the Brain. The Dry uh, versus Atomic Habits. Um, the dry and atomic habits I found was kind of like a ripoff of the power of habits. It talked about kind of like the same concept. And I think the power of habits was way better than atomic habits. So, but, um, the dry, the night swim, you have a match, um, night swim, get the audiobook because it has like podcasts in it and stuff things like that. So it has like a kind of like a dual media, um, thing, but yeah, so the night swim and the very secret society of irregular witches and the last graduate, both about witches, sorcerers, that kind of thing. Um, I think this one was just more fun. Uh, Finley Donovan is killing it and good radiant or good riddance. Don't read this book. So good riddance to you. <laughs> Finley Donovan moves on. A house at the bottom of the lake, of a lake, secretly yours. Um, house at the bottom of the lake. This one was creepy as hell. Uh, made me very uncomfortable. This one is just your typical enemies to lovers rom-com. We have always lived in the castle versus American Gothic. Uh, I enjoyed both of these for different reasons, um, but um, we have always lived in the castle. Cushel's Dart, Instructions for Dancing. This one is one of my favorite books and trilogies and authors. And this one was, was just okay. So Cushel's Dart moves on. Project Hail Mary, Spare, um, these ones, they don't even belong in the same category. Uh, this one made me cry and this one was, you know, like any other memoir, it's slice of life. It was kind of nice to have like an insight into the Royals. Um, and you know, um, but Project Hail Mary, Dead Silence, Cool for the Summer. I really like this one and until like kind of the twist got revealed and then I kind of like, meh, left, you know, but it was still freaking creepy. This one, I don't remember much about the book. So dead silence. 
Into the Drowning Deep, Killer Mermaids, creepy. Uh, the Marriage Game, your typical romance, enemies to lover thing. Um, into the Drowning Deep, Killer Mermaids, I mean, come on. Uh, the Year of the Fox, and an elderly lady is up to no good. I love Scandinavian uh, translated work. I just love the writing and the humor that goes into there. Um, and then Year of the Fox. Um, I like this one because it was based in New Zealand and I have a thing for New Zealand. So um, Year of the Fox. Heartbones, Never Whistle at Night, um, anthology about indigenous stories versus Colleen Hoover. <laughs> I know, don't come after me, but uh, this was my first Colleen Hoover and I quite enjoyed myself. Um, this one, since it was an anthology, I liked some stories, I didn't like some other stories. So overall, like this one got a, a you know better grade. And then we're left with one lonely book, Twisted Love. Wish this wasn't moving along because I really did not like this book. If you did, then good for you, but ugh. Okay, let me set up for the next round. Okay, we're ready for round two. So this one's gonna go pretty quick. Um, tender is the flesh versus animal farm. Tender is the flesh. Small spaces versus blueberry muffin murder. Small, or, um, small spaces. Emperor, uh, or empire, I don't know why I keep saying emperor. Empire of the wild versus fourth wing fourth wing. Prayer for the crown shy versus kisses and croissants. Prayer for the crown shy. We sold our souls. One Italian summer. We sold our souls. House of hollow. Manhunt. House of hollow. Creatures great and small. Uh, beyond the wand. Uh, creatures great and small. All creatures great and small. Love on the Brain, The Night Swim, uh, The Night Swim, Finley, Not Finley Donovan is Killing It, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, Finley Donovan, uh, Project Hail Mary, Into the Drowning Deep, this was a tough decision, both like them, but I think I had better time with uh, Project Hail Mary. I liked it until the end. The end kind of pissed me off on this one. Um, Year of the Fox uh, versus our one that moved on the round. So I'm glad to get rid of Twisted Love. So Year of the Fox. Okay, let's move along. Tender is the flesh versus small spaces. Tender is the flesh. Fourth wing versus prayer for the crown shy prayer for the crown shy we sold our souls versus house of hollows we sold our souls Cre all creatures great and small versus the night swim all creatures finley donovan is killing it um project hail mary project hail mary and on this one we had uh year of the fox is lonely so that one moves along okay uh Prayer for the crown shy, tender is the flesh, tender is the flesh. All creatures great and small, we sold our souls, we sold our souls. Year of the Fox, Project Hail Mary, Project Hail Mary. So with this uh, one side of the bracket, we are left with Project Hail Mary, we sold our souls, and tender is the flesh. So on the next side, we're gonna end up with three as well, and we'll pit those against each other and then we'll find out who is our ultimate winner. Okay. Okay. Elimination round. Remarkably bright, bright creatures. In my dream, I hold a knife. Remarkably bright creatures. Sea of Tranquility. Kaiju Preservation Society. Sea of Tranquility. Razor Blade Tears. Only a Monster. Razor Blade Tears. The Secrets We Kept, Gilded, The Secrets We Kept, Deadly Education, House of Salt and Sorrow, Deadly Education, Song for the Wild Built, The Other People, Song for the Wild Built, 
The Great Alone, Divine Rivals, The Great Alone, Fina, The Dry, Fina, uh, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, The House at the Bottom of a Lake, House at the Bottom of a Lake, De Dead Silence, Kershell's Dart, I mean, I really like both of them. This one's like, uh, epic trilogy with companion trilogies. And I've reread this so many times, reread it so many times, but like, I really like this. <sighs> um, but Cashel's start is going to have to continue. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Um, and then Heartbone didn't have anybody to compare with, so it's by default moving along. Okay, next one. Okay, we're almost there. Remarkably Bright Creatures, Sea of Tranquility, Sea of Tranquility. Razorblade Tears, The Secrets We Kept, uh, Razorblade Tears. Deadly Education, A Song for the Wild Built, A Song for the Wild Built. Chris, uh, the Great Alone, Fina. This one is a hard one because I really enjoyed both of them. Actually, both of them made me cry. Um, but this one's like a 100 page book versus like a 400 page book. Um, Fina. Yeah, Fina. And this one hurts as well because I love them for varying reasons. Um, House at the Bottom of the of a Lake, Chrishell's Dart. Um, like I said, like I've loved this series and I know what happens and it just gets better and better and better and better. This one's like a 100 page book, 400 page book, but Chrishell's Dart. And then Heartbone continues on because they have no one to compete against. Um, so, you know, who's going to be the winner now? We have uh, Sea of Tranquility, Razorblade Tears, Sea of Tranquility, uh, A Song for the Wild Built versus Fina. A Song for the Wild Built. Shell's Dart versus Heartbone. Shell's Dart. So there you have it. Our three finalists on this side versus uh, Tender is the Flesh, We Sold Our Souls, and um, Project Hail Mary. So let's just set up the last bracket. Yeah, let's see how, how this goes. <laughs> Okay, well there you have it. Um, yeah, book of the year, <laughs> Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Uh, definitely some very tough choices had to be made. I'm not sad um, about it. Uh, definitely the last three there. Uh, I would recommend all three of the the last ones. So. Hopefully this made sense. I just realized I didn't even plug in my mic for the majority. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure there's probably like a different way to do this, but all in all, this was pretty good. So 
I hope you enjoyed. What was your best book of the year? Just let me know and we'll see you the next one. Hopefully it won't be a year from now. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.